Four more hard balls, let's go. One, two. Why am I always late? So, hello. Today, I've decided very last minute to head to the CrossFit gym, training zone where I go sometimes. I'm not an avid crossfitter but i do double and do the 24-2 workout because it's got a load of double unders in it so i was literally just in my dms last night and my friend who goes to this gym messaged me saying you need to do this workout it's right up your street it is heavy on the doubles so it's 300 meter row 10 deadlifts and 50 double unders as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes yeah i thought you know what i'm gonna have a go at it wasn't the plan for a sunday morning but we like being spontaneous so for those that don't know i strength train and obviously i do my jumping crossfit i i've done a little bit of in the past what i really like about crossfit is the community what i found difficult with it was just the i like to go to the gym in my own time and not be tied to certain times and I do like my strength training routine it's always worked for me I've, I've strength trained for like 10 years now so I figured out what works the thing with CrossFit was I was sort of doing one or two sessions a week but it would actually interfere with my other training because a lot of the classes they tend to hit your full body it's very much it's a combination of strength and endurance and, and cardio really so it was just a bit much for me if I wasn't doing all the jumping at the level I am like obviously with social media and everything maybe I could have done that and made it work but I think yeah I just need to be on form because jump rope is what I do I think CrossFit is great I think people have to be very careful because obviously there's a competitive side to it it's all about it's often about getting a certain number of reps in a certain amount of time or getting a certain number of rounds and that can obviously if people put the their sort of ego over their safety then there's a bit of a risk there but I think when you leave your ego at the door i think crossfit is a really good thing for people to do and it's a nice way to get into strength training as well i'm actually a bit nervous i've not done crossfit in ages but obviously this is i mean deadlifts are something i'm very familiar with and you know there's no crazy lifts like cleans and jerks or anything like that i wouldn't be doing this on a sunday morning if there were snatches in it that's for sure so yeah <laughs> I'd uh, take you with me. I've got Mr. Jumps with me today, so he's he can film me doing it. Comment below how many rounds you think I'll be able to do in 20 minutes. Don't cheat, and by the end of the video, you can comment again to see if you're right or not. strength training but it's not good for double numbers. Usually in CrossFit workouts I just have to accept that and accept my hair might interfere with the rope but since this is so heavy on the doubles I'm like you not like, you know, tuck your hair in. I could actually yeah tuck it into my bra mm. and I'm like, I'm gonna go for a week. He's trying to stop that no. Probably gonna... no I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> Row, 10 deadlifts, 50 double unders. I'm scared. Let's do it. Ready? <laughs> Keep it up. 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 Keep it
Hard balls, let's go, let's go. Hard. Honestly, didn't think I would. <laughs> I thought you're so strong on the row. I was with her, I was like, just <laughs> It's the worst place to end. I ended on my double unders, so it was just like, as hard as you can. That's true, true. I think the problem is with double unders and row stuff. I my last set, I was like, there's too much to it, so to actually get more efficient, you have to change so much. So it's very difficult to go from what you're doing. Yeah. To bring your hands in and relax, you need a shorter rope. And then to do that, you're like going back to square one. What about that uh, second round of mine? I was tripping every 10. I know. And then it was like, was like is, this, is this a sign of what's to come? Like, no, you guys are like, maybe I'll just go home. There's no point sticking around for this show, is there? <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. That's Glad. Oh, that's right up there. For women's schools. I'm a one trick pony though. I only, I only come out and cross. Only turn, only turn, only up, turn up for a double turn workout. Up for the, uh, the old burpees last week. Yeah. <laughs> where was that? Ooh, burpees where and snatches. Burpees and snatches. Why is it 24 2? 24, 2024. 24, workout 2. 24. Oh, workout 2. two. So they do, yeah. two, they do four a year. Three. Three a year. Ooh. Wow, I feel like I'm finally, finally got my breath back after that. Obviously when you're going as hard as you can, which is the idea of these workouts, I forget how gruelling it is. The way I work out with my strength training and even jump rope is, I suppose I don't really push myself to the limit. It is hard work getting my routines down and I, I have attempts and then I, I don't get them. And then but if I need to rest, I need to rest and then I go again. My style of training at the moment doesn't involve like pushing myself to my limit. So going back to that is hard. But I'm so glad I did it. You probably heard I got eight rounds and I did 160 metres on the rower of round nine, all in the 20 minutes. So the amount of reps I did was 736 and I did it RX. So yeah, so that's my score. Let me know if you're taking part in the CrossFit Open and you did the 24-2 workout and how you got on with it. If you're wondering, by the way, because I don't obviously use my speed my, my wire speed rope much because I'm not usually doing competitive jump style jump rope where I'm trying to get as many double unders in a certain amount of time. The rope I use is the Dope Ropes Outrun speed rope. It's a really good rope. It's got super thinny handles and I really like the length of the handles and the weight of them and the, the wire is for me a really nice thickness. So. I recommend that rope, but if you are working on your double unders, don't work on them on a wire rope. You need a PVC or beaded rope. That is where you want to start with your double unders. And before you attempt double unders, you should be really, really freaking good at singles. If you don't know, I do have a jump rope app where I teach double unders and obviously and everything from the basic bounce. That's fancy feet. You can follow a skill map and basically learn lots of tricks and different footwork and it just takes you through them in different orders. But if you do just want to learn double unders, you can do that. You can jump straight in at the basic bounce and then head on to double unders. If you really want to improve your rope work, if you really want to improve your double unders for CrossFit or whatever, then working on all of the other skills is going to help you massively. Double unders for me is like much easier. It's like one of the, it's just doing simple double unders is easier than doing all of the different footwork, all of the different tricks and stuff like that. If you can learn all of the tricks, and actually which is enjoyable and you look pretty cool doing it as well then that is going to help you massively with your double under game and you'll actually enjoy your training as well like rather than just going into your training and just practicing double unders which can be quite mundane the thing with crossfit is i'm not an all-rounder i'm a bit of a I'm a one trick pony i come in and do the double under workouts i used to go a bit more often but as i said to you i've realized that i do find it quite difficult to maintain crossfit workouts alongside everything else I do. That is a workout in CrossFit that was perfect for me. So obviously I scored really well in it. But give me something else with, I don't know, burpees and snatches, then you're not gonna see me get such a good score. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, something a bit different. Thank you, George. Shout out to George 
my friend at the training zone for dropping me a DM and saying you need to do this workout. I'm so glad I did it. Going back to the CrossFit gym and seeing those guys, it's such a good CrossFit box by the way. If you're in the local area in Hertfordshire, definitely go and check it out. The guys, Matt and Alex, who run it are awesome. That is everything. If you do get a rope from me, I'll pop a discount in the description below. You can get 50% off Fancy Feats until the 25th of March, so take advantage of that. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. That's a wrap, isn't it?